Welcome back, Ravens. I hope you had a great summer. Welcome to the first edition of ONW Now. On today's show, we have stories covering behind the scenes of the all school music video, the new astronomy class, the school wide locker shortage, Game Day Northwest, and more. Let's get started. To kick this year off, the entertainment focus areas of eCommunication produce a school-wide music video. You were all at the assembly, but you may not know the hard work that was put into the production of the video. Sean and Luis give us a behind-the-scenes look. Four years ago, Ecom released the O&W Lipto, and ever since then it has been a tradition to do an all-school music video out of Lake and Northwest. After the year we had last year with our tragedies and tuberculosis and all this bad press, but you know this is one way to show the world that we're an amazing school, we have crazy school spirit, and we really are this community of people who can grow all this together. The entertainment strand of Ecom has put countless hours into planning and producing the 2015 All School Music Video. We're all in this together. All of last week was like planning, either working with like Miss Morris or like um, coordinating with our camera operator. While others were filming in the gym, the editing was already underway. Uh, right now what we're doing is we are taking the footage that we have gotten throughout the day and we are just kind of sorting through it because we're do doing this on about eight different uh, computers. Part of the song, cheer as well. If you're singing along, please... The students and staff involved had a great time shooting the videos. It's an enjoyable thing for me has been watching uh, the students, how they sing and dance, how they plan, how they perform. I hope this video turns out as good as the lip dub and it's like as popular as it was and to like instill a new sense of community. The music video has brought the student body together and has created many memories. For o &W Now, I'm Sean McFarland. Now back to the desk. Now that you've seen what it took to pull this music video together, we have the premiere of the 90 second competition version produced by the entertainment focus area of eCommunication. <laughs> Thank you students and staff for helping make this video possible. We will debut the full version on next week's show. This year we have a new segment called ONW A to Z where we will feature 26 stories covering the alphabet of ONW. Our first edition is about ONW's astronomy class. Let's take it to Lee for the story. According to astronomer Carl Sagan, somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. You know, I think everybody's interested in the stars, and uh, I think everybody just naturally has a bit of a curiosity about astronomy. Astronomy is a little known but very interesting class offered as a science credit here at ONW. The information that's out there, you know, you, from documentaries to books to um, just standing up at night out on my farm and looking up in the sky. Many people think astronomy is just looking up at the night sky and memorizing constellations. However, that is not the case. Things that fall under it would just be knowledge, would be uh, technology to find out what 
this universe holds. It's just building that vast library of, of human knowledge of what's out there. If you ever find yourself thinking about these things, you might want to enroll in this class next year. Physics isn't for everybody. Chemistry is not for everybody. Environmental science is not for everybody. I think any class that has a science background of just to wonder why things are the way they are is a part of any good school curriculum. There are many benefits in studying astronomy. If all the electricity in the world happened to go out and you could mark time, you could learn to go across the ocean. There are so many things to learn about in astronomy that you will never be tired of it. And just see how vast this universe really is and the technology that we have that shows the different tests that they're doing right now. For ONW Now, this has been Lee Volker. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Lee, for that story. This year, almost 200 students at ONW were left without a locker. Victoria and Libby have more about the locker shortage. Imagine coming to school every day with 50 pounds of books in your backpack and nowhere to put them. That's the reality for some of the students at Olathe Northwest. Well, we knew that we would be close. Um, we, knew, we knew that there would be almost a matching number of lockers to students. Because of our growing numbers here at Olathe Northwest, over 200 students are left without a locker. I would say with not having a locker, the biggest problem would be is that you have to have all your books like in your backpack, so it makes it like heavier. However, students are finding silver lining in not having a locker. You don't have to stop at your locker, so it's easier to get to classes on time. You don't have to like rush your locker in between passing periods. The administration has come up with a solution to prevent this problem in upcoming years. Those ones across from the library, we have plans to move those into different locations in the school, so that will add a lot of lockers. Even though many students still don't have a locker, the administration has been working very hard to accommodate everyone at Olathe Northwest. I'm just glad everybody was very patient so that they gave us a chance to get it all remedied. For ONW Now, this has been Victoria Scarduzio and Libby Bandy. The sports season is off to a great start with some thrilling victories. Here's Game Day Northwest. Hey Ravens, welcome to the first edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm your host, Brennan Wolford, alongside Luis Ruiz. While sports are off to a quick start, a week ago the volleyball team took on the number one team in the nation, St. James Academy. Tanner and I were there. Over the weekend, the Lady Ravens battled it out against the number one team in the nation, the St. James Thunder. The ladies struggled in the first set, losing 25 to 17, with the whole team struggling to get a grip on the game. Needing to make a crucial push, Tiano Mazik and the Ravens made some amazing blocks and bounced back in the second set, taking it 25 to 18. The Lady Ravens then dominated the last set, never looking back. They stunned the nation, winning 25 to 19 over the Thunder. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Luis Ruiz. Now back to the studio. Great win, ladies. Come out to support the volleyball team Thursday at Olathe North. Last year, the football team lost to Hayes in the opening game. This year, the team made the return trip to start the 2015 campaign. Let's check out the action. On Friday night, the Raven football team traveled to Hayes, Kansas to play the Indians. The Ravens were looking for revenge after last year's two-point defeat at home. The Ravens quickly got the game going when junior Elijah Rowland returned the opening kickoff to the opponent's 15-yard line. The Ravens put their defense on display again this year by stopping the Indians on multiple possessions. The offense was fired up with junior quarterback Easton Krupper leading the attack. Krupper came away on the night with two passing touchdowns to David Burton. Brendan Watkins got in on the scoring when he scored a touchdown off a 27-yard rush. The first half and then the second half we came out ready to go and just handed it to him. W left Hayes victorious, winning the game 23-9. The Ravens are on the road again this Thursday when they play Shawnee Mission West. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Connor Gertis and videographers Megan Osborne, Jalea Johnson, Natalie Hunt, and Abby Bukowski. Now back to the studio. Great win, guys. The team plays Shawnee Mission West at Shawnee Mission South Stadium on Thursday. That's it for Game Day Northwest. For Luis Ruiz, I'm Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the desk. ONW is full of people with interesting hobbies. Senior Matthew Hawkersmith has a great hobby, and Connor sat down to learn it from him. I did. Hey, guys. I'm back. It's my cousin Matthew. He's going to teach us some magic. Explain to us your interesting hobby. Like a year ago, I started doing magic with basic cards and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've kind of gone further with that. Do you have a trick in store for us today? Do I have a trick? Yes, of course. I always do. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Go ahead and pick a card. 
Any card, do it. You guys think this one? Don't show me though. No. Don't show me. You guys think this one? Viewers at home, you think this? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take, take it. it. Yeah, take it. There you go. Ooh, wow. Don't show me, but show the camera and all the people watching. All right, guys. I hope you like this one. Cause we're gonna put it about in the middle. Do we put it in? We give it a quick shuffle, nice and quick. That was super that was fast, so, right? That was okay. Don't be judging my shuffling. All right, and your card's gonna jump to the top. Is that the card? Uh, yeah. Four, four of yeah, clubs. Yeah, that, that is my. Four clubs. How'd you do? Okay, that's not. The Put your hand out. We're gonna make a sandwich. We're gonna take the four clubs and we're gonna make a sandwich okay. right there, right? Right, we're gonna take the jack of hearts, Connor. And we're gonna, gonna take, take it. it and we're gonna like, we're gonna take it, we're gonna wave it over like this, blow on it a little and it should turn into four clubs. And actually, check what's in your hand. So now, I'm gonna attempt to do this trick. Matthew's about to explain it to me. Cause you never reveal a magician's greatest secrets. I'm not even gonna tell him actually. Oh. You're just gonna figure it out. All right. So I'm about to figure out this trick, and then I'm uh, gonna go out in the hallways and uh, try and try and fool some people. So. Uh... All right. Yeah. Sorry. Bring cut it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Bring cut it out. So hold out your hand like that. All right. Perfect. All right. Now, somewhat like cowing, make a sandwich. But, so now I'm gonna take the uh, nine of diamonds. One, two, three. Go ahead and look at your card. Yeah. I think it worked. If you or a friend has a cool hobby, tweet us at ownw underscore Raven Daily, and we will try to feature you on a future episode. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Kami Gibson, this has been Connor Bickford. Have a great week.